The newsroom. Thanks. Peter Schiff is here to say, blame the government for what you're seeing in Facebook shares. He's the CEO of Euro Pacific Capital. Explain, Mr. Schiff. Well, first of all, the government finally gave people permission to buy Facebook when the valuation was $104 billion. You know, the reason companies like Facebook can't go public earlier on is because it's too expensive thanks to the government. Now all the opportunities belong to the venture capitalists, you know, the private equity guys. They get in on the ground floor. The government has made it impossible for small investors to buy. They're now the exit strategy. Well, They're how everybody public. else cashes in. Groupon you know? was only three years old when it went public, and that tanked too. Well, because, well, they also bring public companies that have massive valuations that don't even need capital. You see, small companies that actually need capital to grow, they can't afford to go public. It's only these monster companies that can have sky-high valuations that the investment banks can afford to take public. But now it's just a casino, and by the time the, the small investor gets a shot, there's far more downside risk than upside Peter, potential. No, there I was no this. bigger got... casino than the dot-com bubble when you had companies with no earnings going public and you had these massive stock pops just like the globe dot-com did. Yeah. So what you're asking for is what we've already lived through, which was a nightmare. No, we should have learned our lesson. Remember, I was a real-time critic of Wall Street screwing over their customers by bringing those dot-coms public. But we overreacted. All the legislation that we wrote after the fact, we closed the, the door after the horses had left the barn. And now good companies can't get capital at an early stage because of what the government did. No, I actually went over this. I got a new book, The Real Crash, just coming out today. I've got a chapter on overregulation in the financial sector, how it backfires, how the government tries to protect the small investor. And now because of all the regulation, the small investor is the one that's holding the bag. And the 1% get richer Facebook because the government won't public. let the 99% make good investments. Facebook could have gone public a lot earlier than than it decided to, Peter. You will admit that. Well, that was, look, it's not all about Facebook, but the reason they didn't want to do that is because well, they knew that Wall Street could manufacture this big pop. But you know, at the end of the day, if this stock really tanks, Zuckerberg didn't really sell a lot of stock. He sold enough stock just to pay his taxes. Right. Maybe if he would have sold a smaller percentage of the public, uh, of, of his company to the public at a better deal than what he got from those VCs, you know, maybe he, he would end up with a lot more money. He could end up, it could all be on paper. All this wealth could vanish. I mean, sure, Zuckerberg cashed out with a few hundred million, but maybe had he gone public sooner with less fanfare and he sold less of his company right. to real investors at a better deal instead of the VCs who wanted to flip it, the well, IPO, I'm maybe not, it would have been better for, I, for I Facebook. I am not be better for the capital back. markets and for the I, I'm, I'm I'm personally not craving to go back to the days of Pets.com where you had these skyrocketing IPOs well, and everybody thought they were going to get rich and then they didn't. Peter, yeah. I know we have to go because yeah. you have You other don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> yes, people acted stupid during the dot-coms, but we don't act even stupider with the regulations that we put on the capital markets in the wake of that. Peter Schiff. It was great to talk to you, Peter. You take care. Be, uh, be well. Thanks, Come back soon of your Pacific Capital.